Hello guys, welcome once again. From this video, I'm starting a new video series on SQLite database. And in this video, I will show you how to get started with your SQLite database on Windows machine. So why this SQLite is very interesting is because it's a self-contained database and it's a serverless database that means it doesn't require any server for its working so mostly it's used in mobile application because uh, it's a serverless database and you can transfer your database from one computer to another computer without any server requirement so now let's uh, download the binary and install it so just go to download and in here we will search for the windows binaries so I will go here and I will download this SQLite zip file okay so just click it I have already downloaded it and this file looks like this so it has only one exe file called sklite3.exe so what i will do is i will go to my c folder which is this c folder computer c and i have made a folder called sklite2 for example and in here i will extract my SQLite file this SQLite zip file so this only contain, contains one exe so I can drag and drop this into my C and SQLite folder now uh, let's get started with this database so go to your start button of your windows here and press cmd press enter and in here write cd because I have created my database in the C file so write cd and backslash and you reach to the cd uh, C directory of your command prompt now this is in my SQLite 2 folder so SQLite to cd sklite 2 okay and now i will create a new database so write the name of this exe file which is sklite 3 first of all i will show you this sklite 3 is in this folder now i will write sklite 3 and then the name of your database so for example I will name my database as company.db and I will press enter this has created a database in my folder so now I will create a table in my company dot database so I will write a query for creating a simple table so I will write this code write create table and the name of your table then in the bracket you need to pass what column you need in your table so first column in my table I want employee ID and which is of integer data type so first the name of the column and space the data type of your column second name so after comma write name and this is uh, is of string data type so I write where care and the length of my string comma the title of the employee this is also a string type where care and bracket and bracket close and don't forget 
forget this semicolon and then I press enter and it has created a table now I will check that SQLite has really created a database for me or not so for that I write select star star from the table name so my table name is employee and I will press enter and it's giving me this command because I haven't entered the semicolon here so I will give this semicolon this is important and once again and it says error syntax errors that may be because my file or the table is empty so I will enter some data in my table so I will write this command insert into employee values and first column is for employee ID so I write employee ID 101 comma the name of the employee so inside this single quote write the names John Smith comma the title of the employee so for example CEO and then once again I press enter and it has created inserted data in my table so now let's try once again this same select star from employee and press enter and now it shows me the data so employee ID and then the name and then John Smith John Smith and the title CEO now I can enter more data inside this table for example insert into the table name and value 102 the name and the title once again and press enter one more data and I will insert one more row of data so insert into employee and then once again employee ID name and the title and press enter now I will do select star from employee and it should contain these three employees in my table so press enter and yes it has these three rows of data so in this way you can create your first table in your SQLite database in the next few videos I will show you how to install a good SQLite manager for your database because working on this command prompt is really irritating sometimes for big uh, development projects so this is just I wanted to show the uh, introduction that's why I have used this command prompt but maybe in the next video I will show you how to download and install a free SQLite database manager to create the database and manage your database so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now